The garage looking fresh. George, is the garage looking fresh? Yes. Oh my god, why does he have to always do that? I don't understand. First video after the garage clean and well obviously we have massive oil leaks but that's just well that's our fault and uh but this is so much space can't wait to see the car enter look at how much space there is for activities look don't look, don't look at that. oh shit that's a different video man <laughs> <laughs> that's genuinely a spoiler alert because it's going to come after this video whatever there is a lot of oil on the floor. There's a lot of, there's so much space. I don't know if you remember in the other videos, but you just couldn't walk around the fucking car. But now you can just walk around the car. There's like extra space everywhere. In the rear, we've got extra space. On this side, we have extra space, especially since we moved this gigantic thing. Yeah, I think, I think the previous video, which is the, Garage cleanup video <laughs> was very successful, George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very <laughs> successful. So, Again. me and George today we're going to be continuing the brake conversion, fixing, and maintenance. So we're going to be doing. My pet drop. Looks like a frog. You can leave now. <laughs> Oops. Oh, he didn't even leave, bro. Win. Bro. Go. Fuck off. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? He's still alive, what so it's okay. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the Brembo brake pads. Me and George. This vehicle tonight. Let's go. Oh, look at this. This is Diego from Brembo. Research and development. Oh my god. Yeah, look at these. They're very tiny so because moment. it's a 320 rear end. Yes, yeah, so it's like. Oh, look a little fucking. Very cute. Yes. Very cute, but still. Yes. Still breaks though. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. If this is small, God knows what's in the rear end right now, man. <laughs> Rear end. Rear end. <laughs> Bro, forget about it. So we're going to be jacking up the vehicle right now. I successfully jacked up the car, but we forgot about step one. We went to step two. We need to untighten the bolts. Now, last time me and George had a lot of issues with untightening the bolts, so hopefully we won't have any issues now. Okay, one out of five. Win. My ingenious plan has failed. I need to unjack the car again. Honestly, these OEM BMW jacks are very shady, man. For a prank, man. For misery, it's not for real, man. Why am I like that? So that, well that, that fucking transpired now. It was unnecessary, was it, George? We, me and George may or may not have just made a tutorial video, and now we can't even jack up the car. How does that happen? Who are we? So, after we did some very strange things while trying to jack the car up, we have decided to jack the car up by the differential brace. So, we've got this... Well, frankly, very large piece of wood to put on the brace. Is this very stupid? Very possible. The current, George is currently lowering the other white man. This is very difficult. Ugh. Oh, fuck. This is awfully, awfully difficult. There we go, the vehicle is in the air. Very difficult. Maybe they do this with bigger jacks, George, I don't know. 
but I definitely struggled a bit there for a second. Small stick, man. You know how it is. Oh, oh. Mogu ostaviti da se visina na džaka i ti je prosto se odol. I da u fart. One is off. There we go. First look. Definitely seen better days. The hub. Disc. It's there, I guess. Bushing. It doesn't look cracked. Seems so light, I guess. The, the chassis doesn't seem all right. Chassis mounts definitely. Kind of rusty. Might have seen a better day. Yeah, I'm not sure. Probably out of the factory. A bit stronger than now. You can't answer it with a finger, so that's positive. <laughs> Time to get to work. Two bolts in a rattle clip, right? We got ourselves a nice seating area. Yeah. Ouch. You're going to be attempting to to decompress the piston. George is entering the vehicle. Oops. I was about to say we're struggling with the first thing, but this is actually the second thing we're doing, and we're struggling for the second time today, so things are not going too smoothly. It's compressing now, it's compressing. We can visually see it compress. I think that's it. Good, thank you for now. Trying to find out what exactly tool we need. We're struggling to do that as well. Oh. How is this a thing though? Yo BMW, how is this a thing? The fuck? This is absolutely ridiculous though. Yo, straight up BMW, what the fuck? Again, with a bit of aggression I successfully removed what in the fuck? Hi, <laughs> the, the Russians. The Russians. We're getting predator missiles. The Russians are coming. There is a glow up just on even your even uglier side. <laughs> you can probably remove the ratchet and. It's still holding, isn't it? Oh. Let us inspect the pads. The pads look fine. I'm, yeah, this this one is breaking here, but that's because we just fucked with it hard. I think. Because this is the in the inside one, yeah. which we well attacked. That's why it's snapping. And that is so bad, George. You have significantly more brake. You had significantly more brake pad on the rear, where cars usually don't really use the rear too much to stop. Yeah. I mean that's it. Let's do a nice pad comparison. I mean, definitely a lot more pad, obviously, but it's not like fatal, dude. It's not like what it's, it's it's not the end of the world. Obviously, this this one took a lot. Yeah, fucking hit me with it. I'm gonna come Why? fight you, bitch. So hard. Yeah. So obviously, we kind of fucked with this one a lot. Yeah, rear pads definitely very easy for now. This is only one side. George, if we do oil, which which will be in another video, <laughs> if we change oil, including rear pads, in like an appropriate amount of time, I will. I'm feeling confident, especially since we're uh, we have a, a large project to attend to, a large brake system rebuild. 
We're looking good, George. I know. Thank you. <laughs> not not f physically, you fucking almost middle middle aged man. <laughs> okay, older almost middle aged man. It doesn't matter. My nickname oh, is not too true. <laughs> Uncle George <laughs> and Father Rosen. So we've got the copper grease. Not affiliate with the country of Greece. Really? Big joke man, man. Are you the comedian now? <laughs> no, George, you are. It is you who is the comedian. Georgie boy properly greasing that shit up. Yeah. Our attire has changed. We are now in shorts. Short shorts. Short shorts. My shorts are ever so slightly uh, tight. I used these shorts when I was working as a construction worker for my uncle, and back then they were not they were not tight on my ass. But back then I was not eating food in general. <laughs> I yeah. generally could yeah. not afford to eat food. Well, I had to pay for my uni university. It definitely was a time. I mean, the piston is almost completely compressed, so... Yes. Alejandro and Amorosa! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? George out here using cardboard to... compress a piston. Let's put something on something, because you can put it on the wall. Let's go. <laughs> Unnecessary. <laughs> Alejandro! We've reinstalled the old one. I mean, that's pretty much it. Really can't go. Let's see. Because the caliper is yeah. pretty much compressed, man. Yeah, we need to compress it more. No, it's not possible. <laughs> it's not possible for it to compress more. I'm almost sure we can compress it more. No, George, this is it, bro. We're done. There's no way to fix this. I'm going home. I mean, realistically speaking, dude, it's almost GG. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we did it again. Let me just... Oops. Oops. But it's on. Why is it not going completely on? I don't... What is the physics behind this? It's not like entering the rear end though, that's a problem. That's a problem. Oh, what about the bolts? Maybe the bolts are the reason it's not getting yeah, pro yeah, it's the bolts. <laughs> yeah, it's the fucking bolts. Yeah, good thing we spent a, a bit more time on that. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, good, so... We are smart. We are. Definitely spectrum this fuck. I promise we are the smartest. In this room, currently, we are one of these <laughs> smarter things. <laughs> it was a guide pin, and that's very disappointing. So we need to, we had to guide the guide pin whilst turning it by finger because the ratchet cannot be installed <laughs> whilst yeah. the shock is in place. The shock? <laughs> the, 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 the shock! The shock. Yeah, okay. Uh. Man, this looks very suspicious yeah. on camera. There we go. Pads are on. We need to torque it. How will that work, George? <laughs> we shall see. Because I somehow doubt that's going to work. So it needs to be 65 Newton meters. We're trying to figure out how to install a... Uh, how to get this... How to get this on this, but also get this somewhere in this. It's going to be hard, George. I'm going to attempt to just torque it. Using a lot of reductions and such. 
No, there's no fucking way that works, George. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> no fucking way. No, it's like impossible, yes, absolutely. That seems... That seems like ridiculous enough to work. Well, well, well. What are the physics of this? I just don't understand. It seems like you're not also of understanding. <laughs> the fuck? Well, I guess. I don't know, man. That's absolutely ridiculous. Thing. I think. No, I think that 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 was that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at it. It's yeah. That can handle. So, well, we we had a good run with this swivel boy. This is the second time we've used it, I think, for new to metering. So yeah. So we're back to well manhandling things. Yeah, that seems about right. Again, we. Why do we keep forgetting about rattle plates for some reason? There we go. No, oh, I guess that's it. Brambo logo. Look at it, very cinematic. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Again, we forgot something. The caps for the guide pins. But we're doing this like no tutorial though. We're just doing well, this by ourselves. Currently, yes. Obviously. Well, that's not supposed to be like that. Oh, wow, George, you fucking... Okay, George. Time for the thing that I have no idea, no info on. The handbrake adjustment. It's time to adjust the handbrake. How much time do you need to... Rozwartisz 100 grand. Boże mój. No comment, to nie Allegedly. We have the wire, the... Yeah, the wire. The metal wires, you need to... Untight it? Untight it. Ah, much better. So we were looking for this thing, apparently. Oh, we got the big guns out. We watched the YouTube video and we are now ready to adjust the rear brakes. Essentially, right, we need to find a mechanism and then you just, let's listen. Well, he's moving a mechanism and our goal is currently for it to engage the disc, so engage the brake, essentially. And then after that, we will adjust the 10 clicks down so it's not permanently engaged, obviously. We need to get it so it doesn't move. So there's a big chance, we're currently at maximum e-brake. At maximum e-brake adjustment, so the wheel is maxed out. Allegedly, the brake shoes should be pushing on the hub disc thing and it should not be able to move. But George, I think we found out why you had no brakes because your pads are worn. Your, your... They were supposed to be changed though. <laughs> George, there's a reason why George is sitting here with me on the floor. It's because he is the, mo the most shafted person I know. Oh, I ever knew would mean like he's dead, which <laughs> with a little bit of luck, I mean, <laughs> one can only one can only hope. Uh, but it prob probably we were actually talking about how uh, he was told that these were a different kind of shock, a different kind of zacks. He was told that these are zacks, but these are KYB. Uh -huh. So he's been uh, well shafted once again. He has no brake shoes on the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so brake adjustment did not go too well. This is George's sparks bin. So 
So I think George found something that's not optimal. Oh my God. Yeah, that is slightly damaged. And Georgie boy. We're done with this side. Yeah. We must do the same again. The hole is yeah, right that's there. Fucked. Bad. That's for manual labor is fuck dude. But in the past. Oh yeah. With the little shorts of poverty. <laughs> yeah. The poverty shorts. <laughs> These were my work shorts and my official work. <laughs> My going out shorts. I, o I only had one set of shorts. Wow. Uh, uh. Damn, this caliper looks much nicer, George. It's been changed or painted. Yeah, this looks. Why does this caliper look much nicer, George? The disc. Who repaints one caliper? <laughs> the disc is slightly damaged, George. Slightly. <laughs> slightly. Yeah. Why is the disc in worse condition, but the caliper is much in, in, in nicer condition? Good. So it's much easier to compress this one. Why is it so different, George? Why are these... Damn. <laughs> Why must the pins always like beat us? <laughs> Let's see if we can do this one quicker. Oops. You did it again. George, stop saying that. I know you want to say the Britney Spears meme, Mom. No. Maybe. I'm currently underneath the car, like behind the camera. And if if this falls out of the jack, I'm just dead. Well. Oh yeah. Let me see the pants. Let's yeah, these look a bit more used, but Still better than like the front. Yeah, fronts were really bad. It's here. A mint place to go. We're trying to adjust the brake shoes, but uh, again, we're struggling. Although everything inside there looks much, much newer. For a second there, we were worried that I had, that I had bricked the 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 mechanism here but it's uh, working now again time to do some compressioning oh wow that was that was much easier to be installed also the guide pins just everything just kind of worked I'm going to try and guide the pins guide the guide pins it's funny that the guide pins need to be guided. <laughs> Agree. Can you see how ridiculous this is? It's not completely in, but it's technically speaking working. Let's cap it off. And now sensor. Go. Good job. Good job. Bad boy is trapped. Huh? There is no rattle. Maybe that's why it's. Oh, no. Maybe that's why it's wobbling, George. Can't help. Why do we always forget the rattle pin, George? Mm, you see rattle pin whisperer. Yes, I will whisper with the rattle pin. Uh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, seems good. Seems good to me. So, tightened the, tightened and then untightened the brake. Yep. New pads, lubed pads, new sensor, new pin. Need to clean this. Yeah, it just needs a nice clean. <laughs> You can tell it's the end of the video because me and George are very tired now. Tired. <laughs> so we were finishing up. That's three, George. 
So George, two clicks of the e-brake, and then he is going to tighten the e-brake as much as he can. Yeah. There is a bit of a really resistance. Oh yeah. No moving here. Oi. And uh, there we go, George. Yes, he ran over the old, the old uh, sensor, the old bad you know, wear sensor. Old minimal wear sensor. Yeah, perfect. So, me and George, tired and dead. The we time is the time is eight twenty-five, uh, ten twenty-five, and we're done with working on our on cars for this week. <laughs> Oil puddle and. Yeah, thanks for watching.